Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Adobe has been developing and releasing uh, a desktop framework, a cross-platform desktop framework known as Adobe Air. And uh, you may not know about Adobe Air, but trust me, more and more applications for this platformless or cross-platform framework are being released. In fact, Adobe just created something called the Adobe Media Player, and uh, I downloaded it. It was just a, a simple click on a web page, and it ran directly on my, well, at least my Windows desktop, and it looks to be like Miro, uh, a video podcast client that can manage subscriptions and, of course, play back any type of Adobe or Flash media. And Dano, uh, you apparently have had a little bit of experience with uh, what Adobe has been releasing. Yeah. What do you think? At least, well, at least like um, I've been following it as far as like news and stuff. I've tried to, I do a little bit of a web design um, for myself, just dabble in HTML and uh, some JavaScript here lately. And uh, I've been noticing this Adobe Air when it was called Apollo, which was their beta name or whatnot. And uh, I think it's a cool idea because it puts, like, programming into the hands of people that don't really know about programming, but yet they know this HTML, or you can code it in um, Flash or Flex. And it's just like a desktop app. And uh, I think it's really cool just because, like I said, it's uh, something that, you know, I can, I can take and all the all the stuff that I've already learned with HTML or Flash or whatever that I can make a little program that my friends and family can download and whatever I make and just kind of, you know, I can put my own content out there, just kind of user-generated content like the web is all about these days. Yeah, I'd like, uh, my ideal live widget would be, you know, like a simple window with the live video feed on like a tab of sorts. You flip to another tab, it's our uh, YouTube videos, which of course are indexed in Flash as well, and then to another tab, and then you can get SC Thor's Flash Chat. So the idea is, is that you can flip back and forth with all these things within this nice little window, and since it could run on an inherently cross-platform platform, it seems like it's the uh, a win-win-win yeah. situation. I don't know, but I can't, I couldn't necessarily put that together. I just know what I would be looking for. Yeah, well, I've downloaded, like, the source code and stuff, and I've dabbled with it. I haven't actually sat down a whole lot um, with it to, des to design something, but I think it's a great idea, and I'm definitely, you know, keeping a close eye on it because I think it's really cool. I think it's the future of desktop applications. Instead of having to download and install this, you know, tremendously big file and then always having to update it, you could download it once, uh, put it on your desktop, install it, and then it would just automatically update to the latest version when there was a latest version available. You were just kind of hands off of the whole thing. And the fact that it could evolve to the point where you could have all your programs, instead of installing them to a local computer, you could install them to an account in the cloud and then be able to, like if I switch to, from my Windows machine to my Mac, say, okay, open up my account, I'd have all my favorite applications on a completely different computer since, now this is not the way Adobe Air apps work right now, but in theory, that's what could be happening in the future. I mean, the widgets just seem to be taking the world by storm. I don't know, maybe yeah, I'm the only one. The last time I looked at a couple, the Air apps were only like maybe a megabyte or two. So if you did it that way, you could easily store them on the web. And even if, when the first time you load it on your Mac and have to download it, if, it, if it's only like two megabytes, it's going to take, what, like 30 seconds max? I think what's... Uh, and as long as you have the, the Air framework, then... Yeah. Well, that, and that's the thing. I that think like that there will be there will come a time since like most people have Flash installed on their computers, and in fact, Adobe today announced Flash. I believe Flash Lite, <laughs> which sounds funny saying it aloud, um, but it's a uh, compact version for mobile phones. If that if that is, hang on, let me uh, let me oh, double really? check that. Yeah. Uh, but you can't. That would be great for the iPhone. Well, no, you, the iPhone. Uh, you can't get it yet. Uh, I think it's only if um, it's only if you had uh, the uh, uh, yeah flashlight three. It's basically 
they would work with platform developers um, like Nokia, which has already, I guess, signed on. Yeah. I, I'm, I guarantee at the Apple iPhone will have it. I mean, that's just it. To me, that would be a given. But then again, Apple's made some crazy decisions uh, in uh, recent months regarding yeah. a lot of their but, things. But, 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 but it would be nice. It would be nice to watch like your stream on an iPhone. It'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, or I, to have my flash client, my flash chat client on the iPhone. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you know, and, and and then you take it to the next I level. Already, I already bought iPhoneIRC.com already. Really? Because I thought the because I thought the iPhone was going to have it when it came out. There was rumors that it would have flash, so I figured it probably would. It will. It's a it's a matter of time. But what I'm what I'm saying is, you know, eventually, since we all have flash installed, the Air framework will almost be bundled with a flash install as you would normally bundle yeah. or a company would bu bundle something like a Google toolbar with a program uh, when you install it you know yeah. you get prompted to install something else so they will I have an, an, the, the penetration almost matching that of flash yeah I mean it, it's time. it's interesting to watch I have not really found a lot of Adobe Air applications there's no real app installer so to speak for all the different air applications out there but you know as soon as I see one I'm like oh yeah sure I'll take a look um, you know just installs to the hard drive you, you click through the privacy policy and all that stuff um, and for the most part since it's built in flash I mean the user experiences I mean you're only as good as the developer but you know I'm looking at this application and it's not amazing but it certainly isn't ugly by any stretch of the imagination on my Windows desktop so I don't know I think it's uh, the only thing I think it lacks the ability to minimize to the tray. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can do it with this one. You're right. Yeah, it won't minimize it to the tray. Interesting. Well, you know, it's just yeah, starting. It's, really it's beta two know. right now. So, it's free. You, you never know. Yeah, which is I don't know. The, the main uh, air uh, program that I use is the pounce client, and it's mm -hmm. like an IAM client that won't go to the tray it doesn't even make any sense. That's crazy. Well, I don't know. What does everybody yeah, else? Uh, the tray on the Mac. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's the Mac. It. It's the Mac. Come on. Yeah. yeah. They're just thinking ahead. Well, like I can make it go. I can make it go to my iconic tray in on Windows, but that's a, a third-party app that I have, and when it's in there, I don't see like a status notification if there's a new message or something. Yep. I don't know. I, what does everybody else out there think? Mm -hmm. Have you guys been using Adobe Air, or do you even know what it is? Or are you gonna check it out now that we've? told you about it uh, and if you found any really cool Adobe Air apps beyond the Pounce client or the Adobe Media Player which they've just released uh, be interested in taking a look you're welcome to leave a comment remark follow up or whatnot and of course you're welcome to swing by the chat room uh, we have tons of flash applets running on the page including SC Thor's flash IRC client and of course the live ustream.tv feed is in flash so you pretty much have to have flash to come to at least our website and experience it fully and that website uh, is uh, pretty simple to remember. Kat, can you help me out here? What, what was the name of the website where they can find us? Hi, I think I can remember it. It's live.perillo.com. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>